Across the cold void, something impossible is happening. The latest data reveals 3i slash Atlas, a visitor from another star, erupting with jets of water nearly 40 kilograms per second, all while stranded farther from the Sun than Mars. Even the Swift telescope caught a surge of OH molecules, evidence of liquid life, where space should be silent and dead. No previous interstellar traveler, not even Oumuamua or Borisov, has broken the rules this spectacularly. The consequences ripple through physics. Either our textbook on comet behavior is fatally flawed, or Atlas is showing us chemistry never seen in this solar system. So why does 3i slash Atlas look so uncannily alive out here? And what exactly are we missing? 40 kilograms per second. That's the measured water loss from 3i slash Atlas, not at the warm heart of the solar system, but stranded 3.51 astronomical units from the sun, where sunlight is too weak to coax water from most comets. The swift ultraviolet and optical telescope orbiting high above Earth caught the unmistakable ultraviolet signature of hydroxyl, about 1.35 times 10 to the 27th molecules every second, each one a fragment of a water molecule torn apart by sunlight. This isn't a trick of the instruments. Researchers stacked over two hours of ultraviolet exposures and 40 minutes of visible light, ringing signal from the cosmic noise. The result is unambiguous. 3. I slash Atlas is venting water at a rate that rivals comets much closer to the Sun, rewriting what physicists thought possible in the deep cold. Normally, comets wait until they're much nearer, about two astronomical units or less, before water ice starts to sublimate in earnest. But the numbers from Atlas demand a rethink. At least 8% of its surface must be active to sustain this outflow, far more than the 3-5% to typical for homegrown comets. The coma, a vast cloud of gas and dust, is not just a thin veil, but a thick, dynamic envelope. The geometry of this coma, mapped through image stacking and careful subtraction, hints at something stranger. The water is not simply boiling off the surface. Instead, it seems to be coming from icy grains, tiny debris ejected from the nucleus, each one a miniature steam vent, drifting in the coma and flashing to vapor under faint sunlight. This extended source model changes the rules. Instead of a crust sealing in ancient ices, Atlas is surrounded by a halo of small, sunlit grains, each contributing to the outpouring. Laboratory studies back this up. Micron-sized water ice grains, exposed to solar radiation even at these distances, can sublimate efficiently. The process is subtle, but the numbers don't lie. The comet's activity curve, reconstructed from archival photometry and ultraviolet spectra, rises where models expect it to fall flat. Some researchers propose photodesorption, ultraviolet photons kicking water molecules free from ice surfaces. Others point to the possible crystallization of amorphous ice releasing trapped gases in sudden exothermic bursts. But at these distances and temperatures, no single mechanism fits the bill perfectly. The sheer scale of water loss, measured with modern instruments and confirmed across wavelengths, is a hard constraint any theory must answer. For now, 3. I slash Atlas stands as a challenge to comet science. A visitor from another star, breathing in the dark, its secrets carried in every molecule of water slipping into the void. Three interstellar visitors, three radically different stories. The first, 1i slash Oumuamua, swept through in 2017 as a silent tumbling shard. Bone dry, no coma, no tail, not a single molecule of water or carbon monoxide detected. Astronomers watched in frustration as it faded into the dark, offering only its odd shape and baffling acceleration, never the chemistry of a living comet. Two years later, 2i slash Borisov arrived. This one looked and acted like a classic comet, icy, volatile, shedding water and dust in the sunlight. Its coma and tail matched the familiar blueprints of solar system wanderers, right down to the faint blue-green halo of cyanogen. Borisov was a comfort, proof that at least some interstellar objects play by known rules. Then came 3i slash Atlas, and with it, the rulebook fell apart. Instead of a slow, steady rise in brightness as it neared the sun, Atlas's light curve shot upward like a flare. 
Photometric data revealed a superlinear surge, more than just a gentle warming, but a sudden ignition. The comet's brightness didn't just increase, it exploded, outpacing the predictions for an object at its distance by a wide margin. This wasn't the gradual thaw of surface ice, something deeper, more volatile, was waking up beneath the crust. The color told its own story. As Atlas brightened, its coma shifted from the usual dusty white to an eerie, luminous green. That glow is the fingerprint of cyanogen, CN radicals, lit up by sunlight, a classic sign of active chemistry. But there was more. Atomic nickel lines, rare and unexpected, flickered in the spectrum, adding a metallic edge to the comet's palette. Unlike Borisov, where CN appeared early and faded gently, Atlas held back, then unleashed its green emission in a sharp burst, as if a chemical switch had been thrown deep inside the nucleus. This behavior doesn't fit the pattern set by previous interstellar or even solar system comets. The activity curve doesn't just climb, it leaps. The onset of green emission, coupled with the presence of exotic metals, suggests a layered interior, with volatile ices and trapped gases stacked beneath more inert material. As sunlight penetrates, thermal cracks and sudden phase changes release these hidden reservoirs in unpredictable bursts. The coma becomes not just a veil, but a laboratory. Icy grains, radical molecules, and metal atoms all swirling in a luminous cloud, each one a clue to the comet's alien origins. Atlas stands apart as a new archetype, not dry and silent like Oumuamua, not comfortably familiar like Borisov, but hyperactive, chemically restless, and visually electric. Its superlinear brightening and delayed green glow challenge every model of cometry behavior. The question now is what chemistry drives this switch on and what secrets are locked inside the layers of an object born beyond the sun? Nickel without iron. That's the phrase echoing through Comet Science Slack channels since July, when the Very Large Telescope caught 3 slash Atlas's coma lit up with atomic nickel lines while iron stayed hidden. Spectra in the 3400 to 3600 angstrom window recorded as the comet coasted past approximately 2.8 astronomical units from the Sun show a metallic fingerprint that shouldn't exist. In every solar system comet studied so far, iron and nickel travel together, usually in a 10 to 1 ratio. On Atlas, nickel stands alone. Dr. Veronica Kubler, lead spectroscopist on the VLT campaign, became the lightning rod for this anomaly. Her calibration routines, line identifications, and even her choice of reference star drew intense scrutiny. Yet each new set of exposures confirmed the pattern. Strong, isolated nickel emission, iron lines barely above background. The numbers forced a reckoning. Some modelers argue for fractionation, maybe Atlas's parent disk split nickel and iron during formation, leaving one at the surface and the other buried. Others point to chemistry. In a carbon monoxide-rich coma, nickel can form volatile carbonyls, nickel carbonyl, that break apart under sunlight, releasing nickel atoms into the gas. Iron carbonyls, by contrast, are far harder to make and destroy. A third camp blames space itself. Cosmic rays and micrometeoroids could have sculpted a weathered surface rind, stripping iron or locking it away in tough minerals, while nickel accumulates in more fragile phases. Still others look to the comet's birth environment. If Atlas grew up around a thick disk star with odd metal ratios, the answer might be written into its core. No single mechanism fits all the data. Each hypothesis demands a different link between nickel, carbon compounds, and the comet's volatile inventory. For now, the nickel lines hang in the spectrum like a challenge. Proof that Atlas's chemistry is stranger and more revealing than any comet seen before. Carbon dioxide takes center stage in the cargo manifest of 3 slash Atlas. Near-infrared spectra from JWST and ground-based telescopes reveal something almost unheard of. The amount of carbon dioxide outpaces water vapor, possibly making carbon dioxide the dominant volatile in the coma. For comet chemists, this is a red flag. In the solar system, water is usually king. Carbon dioxide rarely gets top billing. Here, the numbers flip. Dr. Anaïs Marchand, a comet chemistry specialist, points out that such a high carbon dioxide to water ratio 
means Atlas likely formed in an environment much colder than the birthplace of most comets we know. Only in the deep freeze of an outer disk, or under a dim, low UV star, could so much carbon dioxide survive locked in the ice. The timeline of chemical release adds another twist. Cyanogen, responsible for the comet's green glow, shows up late, weeks after the initial outgassing. In Borisov, CN appeared early, rising with the first signs of activity. Atlas holds back, then releases a sharp burst as if a chemical trapdoor opened deep inside. This delay hints at layered ices or exotic trapping mechanisms, with CN locked beneath more volatile compounds, only freed when the comet's crust, fractures, or grains are ejected into sunlight. Spectra suggest much of the gas isn't coming straight from the nucleus. Instead, icy grains drift in the coma, each one a tiny capsule of primordial material, releasing carbon dioxide and water as they warm. The odd volatile mix, carbon dioxide rich, water poor, with a delayed CN flare, draws a picture of a comet formed far from the warmth of any sun in an ancient cold disk. Some speculate about the ingredients for life, but experts caution chemistry. This exotic is a fossil, not a seed. The story written in Atlas's cargo is about birthplace, not biology. Nickel atoms forged in the hearts of dying stars carry the memory of supernovae across the Milky Way. In 3i slash Atlas, the presence of nickel, isolated without its usual iron companion, offers more than a chemical oddity. It's a fingerprint from another corner of the galaxy, a clue to the processes that shaped both the comet and its parent system. Galactic thick disk stars, older and poorer in metals than our sun, sometimes show subtle shifts in their nickel to iron ratios. But the gulf between those stellar trends and the extreme nickel dominance seen in Atlas is enormous. The comet's spectrum is a message in a bottle, hinting at local chemical quirks layered atop galactic history. To read that message in full, astronomers need more than a list of elements. They need isotopes. Nickel-60, for example, forms when massive stars explode, while Nickel-58 traces quieter stellar lives. Measuring the ratio between these isotopes would pin down whether Atlas's nickel comes from ancient supernova debris or quieter, long-lived stars. But this isn't a task for today's telescopes. Only the next generation, giants like the extremely large telescope with enough light gathering power to tease apart faint isotopic lines, will be able to separate these cosmic signatures. Until then, the nickel anomaly stands as both a puzzle and a promise a falsifiable test waiting for better data. Some in the community have floated the idea that such a sharp nickel signal could be artificial, a techno-signature, evidence of engineered material. Most researchers push back, pointing to natural, if exotic, chemistry. The standard remains clear. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary, testable evidence. For now, 3i slash Atlas's nickel acts as a galactic messenger, inviting us to map the chemical diversity of worlds beyond our own. The odd radio circle pipeline has become a model for anomaly hunting, blending computational power with human pattern recognition. This same approach is now shaping how astronomers search for the unexpected in data from objects like 3R slash ATLAS, where every outlier could rewrite the rules. Pattern seeking is hardwired into the human brain, and nowhere is that more obvious than when a comet shares the sky with familiar planets. In August 2025, Mercury and Ceres both reach their visual peaks, just as 3i slash Atlas pass through the inner solar system. A TikTok video claiming a cosmic alignment between these three objects racked up nearly half a million views in four days, spawning hashtags and copycat posts across Twitter and Facebook. Graphics mash together their orbital tracks, hinting at hidden meanings and cosmic energies. The reality? Mercury's elongation and Ceres's opposition were routine events, their alignment with Atlas a coincidence of perspective, not physics. Astronomers quickly debunked the claims, but correction posts barely reached a fraction of the original audience. This is the engine of viral myth-making, a striking image, a suggestive phrase, and a gap in public understanding. The lesson is simple, transparent, Timely communication is the best antidote to viral myth. Otherwise, 
coincidence and absence become the raw materials of the next big story. The next phase in comet science is already under construction. The Vera Rubin Observatory, set to begin full operations in late 2025, will scan the entire southern sky every few nights, catching interstellar visitors like 3i slash Atlas before they slip away. The Square Kilometer Array, coming online soon after, will amplify the search for radio anomalies and odd radio circles, blending citizen discoveries with algorithmic sweeps. Together, these surveys promise not just more objects, but richer, faster data, chemical fingerprints, dust-to-gas ratios, and the first real-time alerts for rapid response. Astronomers are drafting wish lists. High on the agenda, tracking the emergence of iron lines in Atlas's spectrum as it swings closer to the sun, mapping dust color shifts, and measuring the polarization of the coma to decode its structure. Fast launch concepts, miniature interceptors on standby, ready to chase the next interstellar arrival, are no longer science fiction. Trigger memos circulate between agencies, outlining protocols for when the next outlier appears. This is a community effort, from seasoned professionals to backyard observers. Every new detection, every anomaly flagged, feeds into a growing database, a chemical census of the galaxy. The era of accidental discovery is ending. Now, the challenge is to catch these messengers in the act, to turn fleeting encounters into lasting knowledge. The hunt is on, and everyone has a role to play. At 3.51 astronomical units from the Sun, 3i slash Atlas was measured releasing around 40 kilograms of water per second, an activity rate confirmed by swift UV detections, tracing more than 1.3 times 10 to the 27th OH molecules per second. This behavior, far beyond where most comets show such volatility, sets 3i slash Atlas apart from both 1i slash Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov. Archival spectra from the Very Large Telescope revealed strong nickel lines without detectable iron, and JWST data showed carbon dioxide likely surpassing water in abundance, findings that challenge standard comet chemistry. Despite these breakthroughs, the precise origins of the nickel anomaly and the processes behind Atlas's switch on chemistry remain unresolved. As new surveys like Rubin and SKA prepare to scan the skies, the case of 3i slash Atlas highlights how unexplained anomalies and careful measurement drive science forward. Each interstellar visitor is now recognized as a chemical record from another star, expanding our understanding of the galaxy's diversity, one documented mystery at a time.